Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Bargain of the Week. Happy Friday. I hope this is lit enough for you. And I don't mean that in the, you know, young kids version. I mean, literally, I hope this video is properly lit because I just smashed a bulb. I'm pretty sure it's a hazmat. Has it, you know what I mean? I think it's like, I don't are those mercury are those spiral bulbs like bad when you break them it's gonna be a huge mess I mean it literally just happened my tripod fell over smashed the bulb on the carpet it was crazy oh god anyhow but nothing stops me from bringing you a bargain of the week so I've actually been holding on to these for some time I got them at Ulta weeks ago, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to share these. I think I was gonna do like a separate review, or I thought maybe I had another plan for them. Anyway, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but Real Techniques has come out with a new beauty sponge. It is not in the package. <laughs> Here it is. It's pink like the beauty blender, but it is totally different. So it has this funky little shape, and it has a flat edge on this smaller end and a bigger flat edge on this end. And I love that it's so squishy. For me, beauty blenders, I wouldn't say this is a dupe. I was watching Jackie Ina and she was like, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge is not a dupe for a beauty blender. It's a good beauty sponge, but it's not a dupe. And I have to agree, I mean, there's a lot of beauty sponges out there, and I find that the brands that try to duplicate the beauty blender, for me, what I just don't prefer, or what I don't like those over the beauty blender, why can't I talk? The reason I just always go back to the beauty blender is because of how squishy it is. I really like being able to let it give. Morphe and some of the others are very stiff. If you like that, that's great, but I feel like I'm just bouncing this rubber ball on my face. So this is the original Real Technique sponge, and for some, I love this flat end. I really just feel like it covers so much surface area. I don't feel like this pointed tip does a whole lot. Um, I actually do a better job getting in my corners with this, the edge of the flat end part, but um, I like it that it's squishy. Um, I don't know if it soaks up more product than a beauty blender. Like I, I still feel like a lot of product is going on my face when I use it. So I'm not sure the actual percentage of product that's being soaked up by one sponge versus another. Um, so I'm happy with this. It's called the Miracle Sculpting Sponge. And it says that it has six uses, one tool. Okay, so it says ideal for powders, creams, and liquids. Replace every one to three months. Huh, okay. Because I know some people can keep their beauty blenders after they wash it for like a year. I wash these. I don't... Anyway, there's a second one, too. It is these Miracle Mini Eraser Sponges. <laughs> one tool, six uses. Really? Uh, with the six uses. Okay, flat edge... Round size, buff, blend, whatever. Anyhow, I did. you get two little guys in this package, and I did use it, and it has this other, it's got the flat edge, um, like this big brother of its, of its. Mm. Um, and so I love using this for my concealer. This little guy, remember the mini beauty blender that everybody hated? I liked it. Some people liked it. A lot of people hated it, those little green blenders. Um, whatever. Um, this is kind of like that. Like, it's a little bit bigger than that one, um, but it's, like, smaller than the beauty. Like, I like it. I love getting in there. Love it. I love my Kat Von D concealer brush, too, but I like little beauty sponges. Okay, so that's really what I want to share with you today. I wanted to share the Real Techniques Beauty Sponges. If you see them, excuse me, Miracle Sponge, if you see them at Ulta, 
they were really affordable. I want to say they were $6 a piece, if not less than that. And especially if Ulta is running a special for Real Techniques or buy one, get one, or, you know, 25% off, that kind of thing. Um, or you can use your 350 coupon for it. Anyhow, you're probably wondering what's on my lips, and I'm happy to tell you because that's kind of like bonus bargain of the week item. This lipstick is by number seven, also known as Boots, uh, from Target, and it is called <laughs> Pillar Box. It is the tiniest, tiniest print. Pillar Box. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, but it is the Stay Perfect formula, and the number seven representative was in Target and color matched me. So according to her chart, this was supposed to be a red that is really flattering on me. So I love the formula. It is so smooth and soft. It's a long wear lipstick. It's not incredibly shiny. It's not incredibly matte. It's just kind of in between, and I want to say it was $10 or $12, and it just, it feels so good. So, yay for that. Um, I believe these are new. I want to say that they are a new release this year, this fall. So, yeah, and if you're also curious, oh, yeah, I'm using for a pencil, the BH Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Retro. This is a red lip liner. This is their waterproof lip liner. If you have BH Cosmetics at your Rite Aid, buy their lip liners because they're $3. So good. So you guys know I'm kind of crazy for drugstore lip liners. I like Essence. I like Milani. So I like NYX. Yeah. Anyhow, um, made in Taiwan. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Girl too free. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I have a cold. Like I said, nothing stops me from bargain of the week. Okay, guys. Ooh, next bargain will be Black Friday. It'll be after Thanksgiving. What should I do? I have an idea, sort of. Anyway. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. I hope you've subscribed to my channel. Please do. Please tell your friends. Anyhow, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.